Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's On Shape Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you two shortcuts that can really save you a lot of time when you're sketching in On Shape. Now, the first of those shortcuts is to hold the shift key and to press the letter S. And this is the shortcut to begin a new sketch. So typically what I do is I pre-select either a plane or a planar face. And once I pre-select that planar face, I can press shift, hold it down, and then press the letter S. And that takes me into a new sketch. So we can see we've got the sketch property manager up here, and we can see that we've got all of our sketching tools up here in the toolbar. Another little bonus shortcut is you can press the letter N on your keyboard to get normal too. It's always useful when you jump into sketch mode. And now I'm gonna introduce the second of the shortcuts for today's video, the S key shortcut menu. Now the S key shortcut menu is one of my favorite shortcut menus from the world of SolidWorks. So I was very happy to see that this menu exists in Onshape as well. And basically the idea is that you can dock many, many, many different shortcuts and only have to remember one single key on your keyboard the S key. And so wherever you move your mouse, when you press the letter S, this toolbar shows up and you can quickly jump from one command to the next, to the next, to the next, by just remembering that one single shortcut S. So for example, I could jump into a corner rectangle command here, create a rectangle that's 53 wide by, now this is supposed to be 40 total height. So 40 minus the 16 base height. Nice, some nice basic arithmetic there in auto dimensions, very cool. Um, now I'm going to, I'm currently in the rectangle command. Now I'm going to press the S key and immediately jump into the circle command. So this is where you can really start saving time when you just kind of chain from one command to the next to the next. Now I'm going to S key and jump from the circle command into the smart dimension command and locate this circle. And then I'm going to finish up here by pressing the S key one more time and jumping into the trim entities command. So just being able to quickly jump from one command to the next, huge time saver when you really learn how to leverage the S key. The other thing that you can do to leverage the S key is you can right mouse button and choose to customize the S key. And this is where we can go in and create additional commands that we commonly use and dock them in that same S key menu. So for me, one of the first things I'm gonna add to the sketch shortcut toolbar is gonna be the extrude command because that's gonna allow me to jump right from sketch mode directly into extrude mode just by pressing the letter S. So I'm gonna say save shortcut toolbar settings, go back to my on shape modeling environment, and I'm gonna to choose to refresh this S key toolbar and boom, there's the extrude command, which means that as I'm going through here, fully defining the sketch, as soon as I'm done, I just press the letter S, jump into the extrude command, and I'm gonna say this is gonna be an add at 10 millimeters, and I will reverse the direction of that. So there we go, two very useful time-saving shortcuts, the Shift S command to begin a new sketch and the S key shortcut menu to streamline your sketching workflow. What did you think about these tips? Let me know down in the comments. Did you know about these shortcuts already? Did you learn anything new during this video? And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to join us for the next episode.